don't be ashamed. I will speak of thy testimonies also before kings and will not be ashamed. Psalm 119.46 You never need to be ashamed of talking about the things that I have done for you. You may have to be careful of what you say to some people, but you do not need to be ashamed. There is a big difference between discretion and cowardice. You need to know the difference so that Satan cannot accuse you of being a fearful coward when you do not feel free to bear witness of me before certain people. Even I say, give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Matthew 7, 6. You need to discern between those who are children destined for the kingdom and those who are dogs who shall always reject the truth. Many of my children suffer unnecessary persecution from the dogs and the pigs because they share their hearts with these beasts who listen politely and then destroy the one who has opened his heart to them. There is a big difference between dogs and pigs and kings. You must know that difference and not be ashamed nor afraid of speaking boldly about all my greatness before those who are destined for the throne. They may persecute you and mock you and even put you to death by witnessing against you like Saul of Tarsus did to Stephen. Acts 7, 58 and 61. But Stephen boldly bore witness of me before him because my spirit constrained him to do so. For Saul, who was later named Paul, was destined for the throne and to be a future prince of the church. Saul trampled the pearls under his feet at first, but later he repented and fasted and sought for them like no one ever had before until he had found them and he gave them to the church in the form of the epistles which he wrote. Paul also bore witness before kings and rulers. Felix in Acts 24, 10 through 21, Festus in Acts 25, 1 through 12, Agrippa in Acts 26, 1 through 29, and Caesar in Acts 27, 24. But there were times when I forbade him to testify of me because they would have killed him when he still had a work to do for me. See, Acts 19, 8. In Acts 19.30. So listen, fear not to bear witness of all my wonders when I bid you to speak, for I shall use you to boldly, boldly show my glory to the multitudes. Don't be ashamed.